Hello and welcome to this week of Okmiti High School update for the Okmiti community. I'd like to start with talking about a return to school. Now, the pupils have been very, very good this week. They've come back in in high spirits, uh, but very settled within classes. They're working hard, working well, and I'm absolutely delighted with the way that things have gone this week. After so many weeks of lockdown, it's great to get back to some kind of normality. We had one slight blip. The behaviour in the wider community at Morrison's wasn't great at the beginning of last week. Although I have to say when I was down at Morrison's, the behaviour was absolutely first rate and we had no issues whatsoever. But maybe just worth mentioning to your youngster that uh, if they're out and about in the community, they're always uh, you know, on duty for the school and so on. And we do expect behaviour to be good both within the school and outside in the wider community. Now, I'd like to talk about the uh, SQA uh, procedures which we're about to embark on in terms of getting the assessment evidence that we need to for making the grades uh, happen for our youngsters by the end of this year. Now, at the moment, we are at the stage of making sure that all the subjects and levels are correct. So in the next few days, you should receive a list home telling you what subjects and levels your child is doing we ask you to check that with your child and make sure they're correct. If there's anything that needs to change, please immediately get in touch with your child's guidance teacher and we'll make those alterations and make sure we've got this absolutely right. Um, we're also going to send a message home saying where you can access the assessment timetable, which will tell you at uh, which day of the week and what period your child will be tested for different subjects. Now the timetable is a class timetable. In, in other words, we're not taking them into the assembly hall or anything like that. It's just a normal timetable. So if your child has, let's say, physics period four on a Tuesday, then that might well be the period when the, the test takes place. The assessments that we're doing are chunked. They're not big exams. They tend to be uh, small exams. They last 50 minutes in most cases because it's single periods. And a number of those will build up to give us a profile of evidence, which we'll be able to then uh, take grades from and so on. So this is going to happen right throughout this term, final grades by the 25th of June, but a number of reports will come out between then and uh, now and then to make sure that you're kept up to date and so on. And again, any concerns at all about anything to do with SQA assessment procedures, please contact your child's guidance teacher. Thank you. Now, with those of you who have youngsters in first to third year, we've put back the final uh, first to third year broad general education report until June. And the reason for this is we'd like a bit more time to re-establish teaching in class, give ourselves some time to do some assessment with your young people and ensure that the report that we give out is as up to date and as accurate as it possibly can be. So following the lockdown, the best way of doing that is to have some time in school and delaying that report just means that we have the time to properly assess exactly where we are. Now, in that respect, um, it gives your child an incentive to keep working throughout this uh, term. The timetable won't change until August and really to try and deliver the very, very best report they can. Um, I can remind you again that although subject choices have been made uh, for next year, um, there is still room for manoeuvre in that respect. And so if your child finds that they are beginning to enjoy something which previously they thought they weren't going to carry on with um, into th uh, third year and so on, or if it's a subject which your child had chosen and now not so sure about, there's still room for that change. So please keep a close eye on um, your child's progress this term and ask them about how they're doing with uh, classwork and tests and so on, and make sure that for next year, if they are making choices, that those choices are the right ones. Now, I'm just gonna finish by a very quick mention of the uh, Duke of Edinburgh. I don't normally comment upon the passing of people uh, in the public eye and so on, but I would reflect that the Duke of Edinburgh's passing is significant to the school. It's significant because we are the school in Fife who produce the most Duke of Edinburgh awards on an annual basis. We present for Duke of Edinburgh at bronze, silver and gold, and it makes a massive impact on the lives of many of our young people in the school. It was uh, Miss Spoke in the biology department who I uh, took this initiative forward some years ago and it's made it into a huge part of our provision and achievement of our young people. 
Um, if you are interested in the Duke of Edinburgh Award, then please make sure that your child uh, signs up for it, approaches Mrs Bogue and I can get information and so on. And hopefully it's something that will be a long lasting legacy to the Duke of Edinburgh for many, many years to come. So worth marking uh, the passing of the Duke of Edinburgh in respect to the massive impact that the Duke of Edinburgh Awards have had within Ockwitty High School. So thank you for listening to this week's update and uh, I hope that your child is enjoying being back at school and settling in nicely. I hope your families are all keeping well and safe within the community. Thank you for listening. Bye just now.